Hey guys, what's new and exciting? Welcome back to another episode of Nick.TV. If you're new around here, welcome to the channel. Sorry about that wind gust. So today's video is gonna be about flying my drone, my Mavic Mini, but uh, as you guys can tell, it's pretty windy where I've come to. I uh, came out to the Terzaki Dam here, about 30, 30 or so kilometers outside of my hometown of Lillooet, or town I live in. I keep saying hometown, but I've been there for almost se over seven years now, so it's home. That's the Terzaki Dam over there. Uh, yeah, it's pretty windy out. It's like 40 kilometer an hour winds. Uh, I'm having a whole hard time even holding my camera up, so that Mavic Mini is definitely not gonna handle uh, this kind of wind. On to the next location. So I finally found a spot here to fly. Some exciting news, I did get my uh, drone pilot certificate. After telling one of my friends about getting a Mavic Mini, he got interested in flying a drone himself, and he took the the uh, small basic uh, r pass exam with Transport Canada and he told me you know it's pretty easy there's some really abstract questions Just making sure I keep in my eye on my drone so in the course of flying my uh, Mavic Mini I'm definitely going to uh, do my best to keep all the rules and laws that apply in mind uh, to flying a larger drone so when I do get a Phantom or a Mavic 2 Pro or anything bigger or something different, you know, I'll have those laws, you know, set in my head. I actually recently flew in downtown Vancouver, which was really exciting. And that's something that I would not be able to do with a Mavic 2 Pro due to the size and the restrictions that are around flying a uh, larger drone. So out here, uh, I'm definitely not in controlled airspace. Although uh, none of those rules really apply to flying a Mavic Mini because a Mavic Mini, uh, it really is considered a toy in the eyes of Transport Canada. Uh, but if I were out here flying with a, a Mavic 2 Pro or a Phantom 4, I could legally fly out here because there's no controlled airspace. And I'm definitely more than five kilometers from an airport or heliport out here. I would definitely recommend studying the Canadian aviation regulations. If uh, you want to be honest about your test uh, and not have to uh, look up things online while you're taking the test, which is probably frowned upon, I would definitely also recommend studying air laws, air traffic laws, uh, airfoils, uh, how weather, temperature, altitude, all those things affect uh, propulsion systems. There's a lot of really, really abstract questions that your average everyday, you know, drone enthusiast might not know the technical details behind. Studying those would, will be the key to your success, whether you're taking the small basic or the small advanced uh, drone pilot certificate exam. Which, so with the small basic uh, RPAS, or remotely piloted aircraft systems, a certificate that I got from the Government of Canada. There's a lot of restrictions. Uh, you can't fly over 122 meters or 400 feet. You have to fly at least uh, 100 feet or roughly 30 meters away from any people. You have to remain in uncontrolled airspace at all times. You must be fit to fly, meaning you can't have consumed alcohol or drugs in the past 12 hours. You can fly at nighttime with adequate lighting in place for your flight. You must have a visual line of sight of your drone at all times. That's just common sense, really. You should always be able to know where your drone is and be able to spot it with an unaided eye, so you can't use binoculars or another camera to look for your drone in the sky. Whoa. <laughs> All right, time to move this elsewhere. Time for some coffee. Nice gift from my mom. Thanks, mom. If you're gonna fly drones that are bigger than 250 grams, uh, so essentially any other drone, you have to have a small basic or small advanced remotely piloted aircraft system certificate or RPAS. With the basic exam, you only need to do an online uh, 35 question multiple choice test and you must get 65% on the test to get your basic certificate. If you're gonna wanna take the small advanced exam, you're gonna have to do the, an online exam as well as an in-person flight review. And the in-person flight review is gonna consist of a flight reviewer asking you to demonstrate several aspects of flying your drone. And you're gonna to need to uh, do all of these 
um, competently and especially without endangering other people. In the event that your drone gets disconnected during flight, you're gonna also have to demonstrate lost link procedures and your flight reviewer will evaluate you on how you handle your drone being disconnected. Someday, I hope to get the small advanced um, R-Pass. I wanna stress to you guys that I'm not an expert by any means in this. Uh, I've only learned as much as you guys can learn, you know, by looking up other YouTube videos, by studying the Canadian Aviation Regulation, and uh, looking online for other resources to flying drones in Canada. Uh, there's a lot of subject material out there. DJI and I apparently I'm getting a new one. I'm not really sure how that happened. It seemed to be flying okay in the last flight. Well I guess that just about does it for this video. Uh, I can't fly my drone anymore until I get a new one. Um, I definitely recommend getting your DJI uh, Care Refresh package for your drone if you buy one. It was 39 bucks for this one for the first year and I think they charged me 39 bucks to get a replacement one. Send this guy back and they'll send me another one for 40 bucks. A lot better than spending 400 bucks on a new one. Well guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, Mini's broken, so if you liked the video, smash that like button, do it for Mini. If you didn't, well you know what to do. Hit subscribe if you wanna see more Nick.TV videos in the future. I'm trying to put them out uh, more frequently. <laughs> uh, if you're a regular viewer, you can probably tell I've been making them more frequently. Hit the bell notification icon if you want to see more videos. And until next time, have a good one. <laughs>